So here it is, the XM8, the top reward vehicle for the current Cyber Thunder crafting event, which should end in about, I think like six days, give or take from the time of this video. And yes, guys, I know what you're seeing right here is a test drive that expires in two weeks, but uh, I am grinding for this vehicle. Naturally, I am currently about to finish up my second, uh, second vehicle, if that makes sense. And yes, it is kind of a pain in the butt, and it is a huge time crunch, especially for someone who, you know, even for someone like myself who is, uh, you know, who works on this all the time, is plays War Thunder all the time. Even then, I'm having a hard time trying to find all the time required to get this event done. So yes, it is a little rough, I will admit. But moving forward and talking about the actual vehicle itself, what does it bring to the table, especially for the 9.3 environments? That is in War Thunder, at least for the Americans. So I'm not really too familiar with this vehicle, okay? To me, it looks like a VFM. I know it looks like a Stingray, I guess. I know uh, someone made a video talking about it in full detail, which I still haven't seen yet. So I'm just going to go off what you see right here, what's right in front of me. What I see is a very narrow, very tall, light tank with a five-second auto-loading mechanism with how many rounds to the first stage ammo stowage? Uh, 21 rounds. That's that's all you want to carry, at least from what I can see, because if you have more than that, I feel it's as if it's going to pop very well. Now, I'm going to be playing with this thing in two types of configurations with and without the armor package. This uh, does add considerable amount of weight, which does reduce the speed and uh, acceleration of the vehicle itself. However, I'm going to uh, keep them on for maybe a couple of games and then take them off on the next one. And one thing I'd like to see at some point in the future is in game be able to equip or unequip these modules instead of having to go all the way back to the hangar clicking on the modification tab and pressing on this uninstall reinstall etc like that that should have been a mandatory thing people who play the the, the vfm or not the vfm excuse me the um what is the 5.7 uh, VFW, I was close. Yeah, excuse the derpy eyes. Should be the same thing, in all honesty. So, going back to the actual mechanism itself, check this out. So, again, five second auto loading. It has a C76A1 APFSD as, as the top shell, which is basically, I think, DM33 or uh, 23, excuse me, in the 105 variant. Uh, M735 is a T1 modification. If you play the XM1, very familiar with the shell type. Not exactly the greatest, but does work out really well. And remember, guys, bigger number doesn't always mean better on the zero degree. It's all about that 30 and that 60. So 193, 166. You guys can't see the difference. Yeah, cool. Uh, generation 1 thermal sites, at least from what I've been told. I haven't played this vehicle yet. So uh, check, check this out, too. Crew is spaced apart from the ammunition, although I do not expect it to really save the vehicle at all. 13 kilometers going in reverse, not too shabby, not the best, but not too shabby. Uh, and yeah, that's honestly really it. Oh, and uh, three times to 10 times zoom. That's fantastic. The only vehicle that I know that has that good of optics, at least in the higher tier, would be the uh, the Swedish with the CV9120 or uh, yeah, CV9120 here, as you would see three times to 10.5 times. And these optics are absolutely fantastic. So I look forward to experiencing this myself as... I already mentioned I haven't played it yet. So with that being said, let's get started. No, Bradley, I swear you're not supposed to be that much faster than me. No, this thing feels so wobbly. It feels like it, its center of balance is just completely off, which is funny. <laughs> but yeah, I did bring 21 rounds. As you can see here, it gets rid of the ammunition in the front of the vehicle. So that's really nice. Uh, the optics though, just look at that. The vignette is a little rough to be honest, but it, it's not bad. But, oh man, we are so tall right now. Jeez, okay. Go get him, little Chadley. Well done. Here, get someone up. Yep. Oh. Woo, he was staring right at me, too. I think he just shot our teammate. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's gone, too. Oh, he's a one death lever. Oh, boy. Second target. Got his breach. Let me go ahead and scout him. Okay, friendly, uh, friendly Charlie's in there. Ooh, he's getting hit too. Go get him. There you go. Go get him, gentlemen. Where are you? Come here. I'm not done with you yet. He's done. Second target at the front. Uh, it sounds like a Swedish thing. CV9105, maybe. Oh yeah, he's coming right in front of me, I think. Ooh, don't get me killed. Okay. 
Oh, he's definitely right there. What are the chances he sees me through the wall right here? Oh, I want in on this. Give me a second. Thanks. I kind of yoinked that kill. I know. Uh, I think he's in here. Give me a, give me a quick second. Let's. Yeah, there he is. He's burning. Oh boy. He's to my hard left. Oh, if he knows I'm here, I'm dead. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh no, it's a uh, Type 74. They kind of sound alike, so you can't really judge me on that. Oh, another target right side. Dude, this auto loading is nice. Think he sees me? Nope. Oh, really? Really, dude? Really? Just. <laughs> is that a martyr? Oh, there's a T. Oh no, STRV 104. Man, I'm just misidentifying everything today. Ooh. What is that? That was a martyr. What's with all these meme tanks in the higher tier? Come on. Okay, so I just confirmed that. Uh, there's no CITV. It's actually just night vision. And I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Oh, that didn't feel good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of flash blinded right now. Excuse me. I can't really see it on my right eye. <laughs> but I've got what sounds like a lighter vehicle right in front of me. No, it's definitely not a lighter vehicle, but I can do this. Thank you, teammate, for uh, drawing his fire for me, buddy. Where were you? Whatever. We're actually doing really good. I'm doing really good in this thing. This is my first game. And I, I think it's just dumb luck. Maybe I think I'm down tiered or at tier. Whatever. We're doing good. Oh. Oh, you know what that is? That is, that is death. And my idiot ass is going to go over and try to poke him. And it works. <laughs> that actually worked. You know what? Guys, sometimes the risk is definitely worth the reward, okay? And I was playing with fire right there, and I won. Nice. All right, this is my kind of map. <laughs> what are we sitting at right now? 9.7? 10.0. Yeah, 10.0. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this thing, as I didn't mention earlier, kind of reminds me of an STRV 74, I think. With how tall and how narrow it is, especially with the armor packages taken off, which, as you see here, uh, I, I feel like it's just kind of redundant to have it, to be honest, because you're going to get hole broken anyway. Composite doesn't stop, you know, sable rounds anyway. But hey, you know what? The idea in this thing is to move fast, don't get shot at, and, uh, oh, speaking of which, um, so remember when I said don't get shot at? Yeah, a little bit of an emphasis on that part right there that I, I, didn't seem to, to do well so my butt is gonna take cover behind this type 60 or t64 excuse me all right we're back up oh there's a kpz oh there's a lot of hate down there oh boy if i can help him out come on Ooh, okay got one got the kpz through the uh <laughs> through the rad there we go got the assist Pretty sure there's one more. One way to find out. There he is. Got his barrel. Oh yeah, you're mine, buddy. Come on. If if that 762 kills me, I'd be or 792, whatever it is. If it kills me, I'd be very upset. <laughs> uh, hey buddy. Yeah, this guy decided not to help me repair earlier, but I'm gonna be the bigger man and help him repair. Who the heck shot you, dude? Oh. Yeah, I see him. I want to go and just get him really quick and do this. Yes. Uh, let's get this guy up and running if we can. Come on, come on. Never mind. I tried, buddy. Oh, at 40 Mark II, huh? Yeah, it's a rare sight. Okay, I'm leaving. I have somebody over to my right here, I think. Yeah, there's. There, I can hear him. I think he's gonna, or he would have tried to have gone behind me, but we'll see in a moment. Oh, yeah, he's right in front now. There he is. Oh, yeah, got your gunner loader. Why, why do you just go forward, dude? You could have lived. Oh, oh, that scorpio. Oh, that scares the hell out of me because that came out of no, it made me jump, dude. <laughs> 
hell was that? Oh, that's a hot. Oh no, this dude just, just spawned in, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I'm going to give him a good scout. Oh, it's not the guy we were looking at, but hey, you know what? I'll take him. By the way, that Type 16 that we did nail, uh, someone got him. And I guess that may have been him again. Oh, there's a second target, though. Hold up. You're getting one too, buddy. Transmission. Oh, he, he will hole break the living hell out of us. Okay, maybe not hole break because that doesn't really exist anymore, but yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll break us. That's for sure. Well, he would have. <laughs> hey, uh, let's, uh, let's push forward, I guess. This kit is really heavy. You can really feel it on this tank. I mean, you honestly can. And there's somebody at the church. Okay. I, in all honesty, I would probably have advise against having this kit on because it's not going to save you. It's not going to stop AP FSDS. It's barely going to stop heat rounds. It doesn't really do well against uh, uh, auto cannon fire from BMPs anyway. So I, I think it's nice to have kind of pointless. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, another C2. I've been seeing a lot of them out today. Is it because people have been selling all their uh, their coupons or their parts and just buying it? I don't know. Where are you, dude? I just scouted you and I can't seem to find you. I think I see him. Hold up. I think he's right there. Yep. I, I knew it. I saw like a little twinkle in my thermal sight and there he is beautiful <laughs> and we win nice i'll take top oh wow a lot of people going out there look at that there's one disabling oh crap he's gonna get me isn't he is he nope got you oh man i couldn't even do like the intro part don't pop smoke don't do that dude that is a terrible idea because now you just, you can't return fire. Yeah, he's done. Unle unless someone saves him, he's done. Come on. Should be his driver, I think. There it is. No, it wasn't his driver, but yeah, guys, if you're in the middle of a field like that and someone shoots you, do not pop smoke because that means you cannot retaliate. And that got him killed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, anyways, like I was trying to say at the beginning, uh, the, the kit's gone. I prefer not to use it. This thing feels a lot better without it, and it does not help our survival rate, at least not in my experience anyway. So, yeah, let's continue. Ooh, I think he sees me. I don't think he does. Driver, track, fuel tank. Uh, looks like a, it's a T-72B. T 72 b No, it was a T-80U. -U. I couldn't tell. <laughs> There's a second one right there. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, damn, I missed him. Okay, maybe we can catch him, maybe. Nope. Damn. I'll let him go for now. I nailed this guy, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say about the same distance. T-64 Alpha. Oh yeah, ooh. Oh, that's annoying. No, not because he broke my breach or anything or barrel, but because you, you saw how I shot and how nothing happened. Actually, I probably shouldn't repair right here, but you know what? We'll just scout targets. How's that sound? Okay, we're back up. Let's see if we can waste this guy without having him waste us. Maybe. Ooh, <laughs> real close, huh, buddy? You might want to get out of that spot. Just saying. Got him on fire. Oh, he's done. He died. Oh, the dude burnt out. Nice. I, I haven't even gotten to my, my point yet. My flank spot. And we're already just four kills in. Nice. Make that five momentarily. Yeah, make that five momentarily. And uh, boop. Beautiful. <laughs> this is great. These guys have no idea. There's a, uh, a vehicle right in front of me. I have eight rounds left. And I think a really, really angry aircraft. Oh, it's a friendly. There he is. Knew it. I heard you. I knew someone was there. Let's get him. Oh, I only got his track. Come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Let's go. 
Higher, please. Yes. Another T-80P. I think that bush may have saved me. Five rounds left. Make him count. A attempt to make him count. Made him count. Nice. I got lucky with that one. Oh, crap. Oh, he just spawned in. Oh, he's looking right at me, too. Yep. Oh, come on. I got three rounds left. Let's make it count. Come on. Uh, two rounds. Come on. There it is. One round left. I got to get out of here. I'm going to pop smoke. I'm going to attempt to hold on to that one round and use it as my last defense and get to that point. Damn it. That's my last round. I got to make it count. No, nope, didn't count. Oh, it did count. Yes. I'm empty now. Run. <laughs> wow. What a ride, dude. If that RD kills me as I rearm, I'd be very upset. But we actually survived that. That entire engagement. We are winning right now. Uh, and we have the field. And this, this is what I like to see right here. Just all of this is really nice. Just having your whole team spaced out and just kind of watching each other more or less. It's nice. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here, wait to get about 10 rounds, and then move forward. Oh, I only decided to bring uh, seven rounds because this game is over. Can I get the last kill? Come on, can I get the last kill? Yes, I can. Kill number 10. What a way to end the game. <laughs> now that was one hell of a way to end on a good note with the XM8. And in all honesty, this thing is pretty damn good, but not in the way you would think. Now, I say it like that because this is a light tank through and through, okay? Is it tank destroyed? No, it's a light tank. So you have to use it appropriately, meaning you got to be fast, you've got to be accurate, you've got to scout targets, you have to support your team. You are not really meant to go fast forward into frontal enemy positions and knock them out one by one. As you can see in most of my gameplay, I was hanging around the back. I was staying around the mid-range area and I was sniping people and I was marking targets and just helping my teammates succeed because that, that's honestly the really play style of this vehicle and all light tanks in War Thunder. So when you get this vehicle, which I know a lot of you guys will be getting this very soon because in the next coming days, it's going to be widely available or widely available to the mass public. My best piece of advice in this thing is play it safe play it casual stay behind your team stay to the mid-range snipe a little bit mark targets and cap points and i really wouldn't advise using the armor kit right here it looks nice i mean don't get me wrong it looks really beefy but it's not going to save you sable rounds will go through it apds from bmp2s will go through this atgms will eat you for dinner just this kit in my honest opinion is kind of worthless not having any smoke grenades too with this kit on no, I, I would honestly say get the modification if you'd like to, depending on the map you're in. Actually, not even that, because you, you can't predict what map you're going to be in. And that's the dumb part about having that kit. What's the point of having two different types of modules when you can't even change it in the game that you're playing? So I, I don't know what map I'm getting next. It could be a night game. It could be a long range map. It could be Alaska or cargo port. I don't really know. And that's the problem of having these types of modules on these types of vehicles. So, Gaijin, if you're watching, which I know some of you guys do, help us out here. Give us something to uh, equip and unequip this in the middle of game and not have to do it during the hangar, you know, and kind of guess where we're going to go with it. All right. That would help us out tremendously with a bunch of vehicles in the game. This one is no exception to that. So, with all that being said, I want to know what you guys think. Is this something you still want to go for? Do you want to get it? Are you going to? Are you not going to? Are you just going to hold on to it and sell it like two years down the line when it's worth like 200 bucks? Feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. As for me, however, I will probably be using this opportunity to take out some lighter vehicles and maybe farm the living hell out of the players who bring this out and have no idea what they're doing. So please don't be one of those people, guys, because I will farm you. Just saying. <laughs> so with all that being said, if you guys want to see this type of gameplay live, you know where to find me over on Twitch. Link is always down in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys not only in uh, the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Happy grinding, guys. Good luck. And I'll see you next time.